Hola muchachos, it's go time. Okay, this fly is, he's, he's gonna be gone. He's gonna be gone. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. Yesterday I was in and out of the tub in a lot of pain. I thought I was in labor. <laughs> By the time you're watching this video, I'm like over 36 weeks pregnant. I've had two of my kids just after 37 weeks, but I've never experienced something like that before. It was painful. I needed the tub to just really relax and cope. But really what that was was baby dropping, like really dropping and me dilating a lot more than I want to be for where I'm at. <laughs> this was good. It was a wake up call because I was like, there's baby videos that I need to put out. One of them being this video, a full on, <laughs> you see me in the mirror over there, a full on baby item haul. Now, because I wasn't anticipating having a fourth kid, we did, we got rid of all of our baby stuff. And then a little while later I got pregnant. <laughs> so we really had to restart in a lot of ways, but I actually have found a lot of peace in doing so because I have been able to repurchase or I have been given items that I've really enjoyed previously with my other babies and would love to have them again or I've looked back on my newborn kind of stage with my kids or that three to six month or whatever and gone oh, we're gonna do this a little bit different we're gonna try some different things we're gonna invest in more things to make my life easier or just try some things out. So this is a very specific intentional baby haul. It's not like I'm a first time mom just getting like a bunch of baby stuff and seeing what works. Like I went into this being like, what worked last time? What didn't? Let's replace what didn't work last time with something that will work this time. So I hope this is a helpful video, especially if you're a new mom, this could be very helpful. I'm really just gonna pretty much go over everything. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If there are some things you're like, why doesn't she have that? Go check out the video down below. I talk about items that I will not be using for baby, soothers, baby monitors, stuff like that. It's linked down below, but let's go ahead and get started. I just have to roll off my bed so I can grab everything. <laughs> Another video that you may want to check out. I thrifted pretty much my baby's entire wardrobe for the first little bit of their lives. It's gender neutral because I don't know if this is a boy or girl. So check that out if you want to. But I do have an order from Loved Baby coming. They're my favorite when it comes to just sleepers. So cute, so comfy. Um, I took advantage of their like long weekend sale or whatever. So those are coming, but Mian and Co sent us some really cute clothes. This probably won't fit until more like three to six months, but I have a lot of cute kind of more knit looking things. I feel like this is a little bit girly, but that's okay. This is by Brixton Phoenix. It's like a little knotted gown. This is zero to three months. My kids don't fit zero to three months until they're really more like two or three months, just cause I've always had small kids, but I do like having neck sizes on hand. We also look, this is by Nina Bal arena it's like a super knit really cute this could totally fit my baby at like six months and it comes with a cute little hat <laughs> and I really really like these so if a sleeper does not have kind of the fold over sleeves these are the best they're just teeny tiny little baby mitts so they don't scratch their faces I will never I will never forget when my first child, Ivy, was just born and everybody on the internet, because I was on the internet at that time, everybody on the internet had to tell me what a horrible mom I was for putting these on her. She was gonna have horrible motor skills. She wouldn't be able to hold anything. I love these for my kids. They're tiny, they're gonna be perfect. I like that they don't scratch themselves. I wanna protect these faces. I want to protect the little eyeballs. And Ivy is actually <laughs> one of the smartest kids I know and her motor skill game is <laughs> totally fine. Nice little bath towel. And these are like a ton of blankets swaddles this was sent to me this is the halo sleep sack it comes with a swaddle and a wearable blanket it's like it says it's a gift set 
So it's a grow with me set. It transitions baby from three-way swaddle to a wearable blanket. And we are totally gonna open some of these things up because firstly, you should always wash your items before you start using them. And secondly, a lot of the time they will shrink in the wash. So you want them to be pre-shrunk before you put them on your baby because you want to make sure they gonna be fitting your baby. You don't wanna wash them and be like, it doesn't fit anymore. So this is the sleep sack swaddle, just a nice gray. And then this is the sleep sack sleep sack. I love sleep sacks for my kids. I think they're safe. I think they're cute. So we have those. And then I did get this for baby as well. It is a sleep sack swaddle, but it's in like a creamy oat color. Bada boom, bada boom. I really enjoy sleep sacks and then yeah a ton of blankets I found with all my kids I never had enough blankets on hand I just didn't I didn't have enough swaddles I didn't have enough like of that muslin kind of blanket so this is by Quincy May so cute and so soft it's just a beautiful striped blanket and then I got the matching bib again don't know if baby's a boy or girl so we're sticking pretty neutral once we know the gender then it's nice to go out and purchase some like gender specific things again more of like the muslin type of swaddle blankets I do not do spit up cloth things I will just throw one of these on my shoulder have my baby throw this on my shoulder baby and then if baby decides to spit up it's fine I've never found like baby soak through anything that I put on my shoulder like it catches it all so I don't do like the spit up kind of cloth things they don't seem necessary for me and I have had insane spit up kids insane and those have been totally fine. I got a bunch of swaddles by Brixton Phoenix because the pattern of all these are just phenomenal. Also, these are big. When I had my other kids, I do not feel like swaddles were this lovely and big. This is huge. I love that. Blue one. They also come with little pouches, which I will keep maybe a few in my diaper bag for when they spit up on their clothes or something and I need to change them and I can put their laundry in here. We got a sun one. Oh my goodness. We got this pretty one. We got this one like burnt orange kind of sun look. And then I always wanted a muslin quilt with all my kids. Never had one, never got one. And then I decided to get one from Brixton Phoenix on my own, but oh my goodness. It's like a full on muslin quilt. Ooh, this will be really nice. These are huge. I feel gypped from like the teeny tiny swaddles and muslins I had with my other kids. This is so weird. Uh, Parade Organics makes, firstly, the best kid jammies, but also they make some cute baby items. So I want to get some of their The Everything blankets. Again, guys, I just, I felt like I didn't have, I did not have enough blankets when my kids were little. I'm, I'm into yellow. I'm into it because I find it's nice color for either a boy or a girl. And I do like some color for my kids. She said as she held up a black and white blanket. <laughs> I, I would full on wear an outfit with this kind of fabric. But then I did get a blue because if this is a girl, blue is cute. Blue, it, blue is not just for boys, okay? Blue is for girls too. We got a blue one. This is not a blanket haul. This is a baby haul, <laughs> but <laughs> really load up on blankets. I'm having a summer baby and I need to load up on blankets. I have some waffle blankets. These are by Little Rue Collective. They're so cute. This one my best friends gave to Ivy when Ivy was not even born yet. It's just like a hand knit blanket. And then my sister hand knit this blanket, which is super soft and just gonna be so nice to lay baby down on. So, blankets. You need them, I have them. I can't wait to wash them. <laughs> we need to wash these. Okay, baby accessories. I did order some of these. These are breast milk storage bags. They're by Medela or Medela. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. So affordable. I used to just Ziploc all of my breast milk, like in Ziploc bags. And it's nice to have something that is BPA free and hygienic. I just feel a lot better about using these. They were so affordable. These are gonna be so nice to have. Um, I'll get to this in a minute. Hold on. Okay, where do I, these, I have these. 
nursing pillow. I think every mom should find a good nursing pillow. There's so many good ones out there. I bought this one from BB Hug Me. Yes, it is the same brand that makes my favorite pregnancy pillow. So it's like a sausage and you can just wrap it around. It has these long ties, so if you wanna tie it, I literally saw a picture of a woman. She tied this around her. She had her baby here and she was nursing her baby, holding her baby, walking around, doing things. And I was like, that's awesome. Super soft. And I like that I can kind of form it how I want to form it. And then when baby starts doing some tummy time, you can kind of place them on top of the pillow like this. I always did that. Speaking of breastfeeding, I never had a haka. Always wanted one, never got one. Very excited to have one this time around. I used to literally feed my kid and hold a mason jar to my other boob when my letdown just started getting really intense. I will try to link down below what I can. This is a silicone breast pump, but it's more like you can suction it to your boob and when your milk supply is just on a high, it's going to catch all that extra milk and then you can freeze it in your little freezer bags. Okay. I have also cut off all my nails so I can properly give myself a perennial massage. <laughs> so now I have no nails. This is basically what it looks like. It's cute. There's like flowers and hearts on it. So you'd kind of suction it to your boob, catch that golden milk, and then I did get the cap, which goes on top if you feel like you didn't do a lot of milk, or you want to save it for later, you can put it on here and then repump into it depending on the time difference because you gotta be careful with that, but excited to have a haka. I bought plastic wipe containers. I used to always buy the Huggies ones, which are like, they're, they're like, what are they? They're not silicone, they're not plastic, but they're not heavy duty at all. And I would go through them so often because I just found that they tore. These are full on plastic, which I like. They're by Oxo Tot. Honestly guys, I wanted nice wipe containers this time around. I was like, no more stupid wipe containers. I want nice ones. So easy open, easy close. Hold on. Oh, this is my side table basket. I have a swaddle, some diapers in here. I can throw a few other things, but I'm pretty minimal when it comes to the things I keep on my bedside table when I'm breastfeeding at night. I like to stay nice and tidy. This is our downstairs diaper changing thing. And th this is so great. Then you got your little wipes in here. You have this heavy thing that keeps all the wipes down and super moisturized. I am actually going to stick this downstairs where I stuck all of our other diaper things with our other kids. The bin is from Ikea and newborn diapers are flipping tiny. This is that same like wipe container and you can see it has the thing where you can visualize on the outside how many wipes you have left. Necessary, no, nice, yes. This will go on my bedside table as well. Okay, this I'm so excited about. This is Hugo Matte. They were more than nice enough to send this my way. I am darn excited about this. It's just a nice mat for your baby to lay on, to play on. So firstly, you can like really fold it up for storage. Ta-da! How nice. It's washable, it's super soft, it's quilted. It's just gonna be great to lay down for a baby. When baby gets older, a nice play mat as well versus just like a napping mat. And then it's nice to put baby on here with like one of the little like jungle gym things that hang over top of them. Just a nice item to have. This is the back. This will lay down on the ground. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> and if you wanna store it, you can fold it in half like this slide it somewhere. Very nice. Again, I will link what I can down below. Thank you for sending this over. This is gonna, seriously, this is really what I wanted with all my kids, but I never, I never did it. I never bought something like this, and I wish I did with my other kids. I would have used it a lot. The car seat, seat belt covers, just so you don't get any like little chafing on their chins or on their necks. I did get the baby mirror. This is the same one I think I had with my other kiddos. If I can't see my baby when my baby's in the car, I have to stop on the side of the road a lot just to check on baby. So this is nice. So I'll position this so I can see baby's face in the driver's rear view mirror. <laughs> 
You guys know what this is. Okay, let's continue. A nasal aspirator. I like the ones where you breathe in and it sucks the snot out or whatever it is. They're, they're just very, they're convenient and they work the best. So this one's by Munchkin. I had one of these previous, but it was a different design, so. <laughs> I'm very excited to use this. Don't overuse it. I remember going to the hospital and the nurses were like, don't overdo it. When Elizabeth was in the hospital because she had RSV and like a bunch of other stuff. Ooh. But they said, you don't wanna overdo it. You just wanna make sure they can breathe. So, in a nice little container too. Okay. Backpacks. In my previous video where I talked to you guys about me packing my hospital bag, I showed it, which is also my diaper bag. So this is by the brand Azaria. They make just beautiful diaper bags. And I wanted a diaper backpack. With it being my fourth kid, I need more hands. So usually I wear baby on the front, backpack on the back. I feel super balanced. And I just think this is such a nice looking bag. So they sent me this one, as well as this black one. Oh my gosh, I just dropped something. It has gunmetal detailing, and the inside is like, firstly, it's this beautiful mauve pink, but it's all wipeable. It's not like it's fabric, so like, if you get poop in here or milk or whatever, it's gonna stain and stink. This is all wipeable. Lots of storage in here, lots of pockets. I think this is the mini version. The reason I have more mini kind of bags is firstly, I know I will take less with me if I have less space to put it. That's just a good rule. With each kid, you actually realize how much you don't need. I need a change of clothes for baby, some diapers, wipes, my wallet, keys, that's it. <laughs> I don't need a lot, so I don't need a huge bag. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Okay gonna be very nice to have these. Also, I did thrift this huge basket. I thought it'd be great to chuck blankets in here and then lay baby down and if I'm downstairs or whatever and I want baby to be in like a basket, this will work well. I just need to keep my eyes on baby pretty much like at all times, just for safety reasons, but I do have this nice kind of, it's kind of laundry basket-esque. I think it's cute, I like it. But let me move the stuff over and then I'll show you the last thing for baby. Okay, a few things I forgot to mention. I'm gonna be borrowing my sister's breast milk pump. I like the manual. And we are reusing our Phil and Ted's dot stroller from our previous kids. Ours is a little broken, so we may repurchase. And I think I'm going to be getting the Sakura Bloom Carrier because it's beautiful and I love baby wearing. <laughs> This, this is what I always wanted. I was so tired of all the bassinets that I used with my other kids. I think I went through four, four different bassinets. I would say my favorite of all of them was probably, there was a Phil and Ted's bassinet attachment for like their little like to go playpen thing. And then there was a Moses basket. Those two were my favorite, but they still weren't prime. Especially my other kids, I was in a queen size bed that was a lot lower. Now we are in a king size bed that's a lot higher and the last thing I wanna do is be continually through the night getting up, getting down, getting up, getting down. And I always felt like I was falling trying to get my kids from their bassinet to my breast for feeding. This, so excited. This is the swivel sleeper 360 swivel and rotation. Should I put it together? Maybe I should. Ooh. They were so nice to send this my way. This is a dream come true. I think if you're going to put your time and attention into something with a newborn, it is to make sure that breastfeeding during the night is as easy and simple as it can be. I didn't even realize things like this existed when I was a first time mom. And if I did, I would have invested in one right away. Instructions. Okay, we're, to we're gonna put this together. I'm not, I'm not just gonna be like, hey, I got a bassinet and then not show you the bassinet. We are, we are totally gonna put this together. <laughs> Go all the way down. 
downstairs to the basement to get a screwdriver. And am I committed? I'm totally committed. Hey girl, let's go. Let's go all the way down. Be right back. together in my bra. I had to take off my shirt. I was like, I was so sweaty. But look at it. Oh my goodness. It is so, do you see that? It is so swivelly. It goes up so high. This is going to be, oh my goodness, just perfect. See, it, you can bring it right to the bed. Nice mesh, super safe. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. Guys, that is that is the end of this video. That is pretty much everything I'm going to be using for baby once baby comes. I'm thrilled to get through this. I'm gonna do some laundry. I'm gonna tidy things up. We're gonna get some things ready. So thank you for being here and for watching. You guys supporting me and my channel is huge to me and my family. This is our income and this is our life. So thank you so much for watching. We hugely appreciate it and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Oh my gosh. This is so great.